All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Atomic Heart. We did the first episode edited, uploaded to the channel yesterday. You guys seem to enjoy the shit out of it. So we decided to do a part two today, but live instead, just to have some fun, kick back, learn the game. You know, at the end of last uh, episode, we didn't even get to any of the gameplay. It was literally a 30 minute cinematic. So I haven't even tried any of the controls. I don't even know what the gameplay is like. I haven't watched any videos like I always do. I didn't cheat on you guys. I, I have no spoilers. So we're going to jump into this game, fill that out, have some fun and uh, see what it's all about. I have been hearing just a little little something about something funny that happens in this game i haven't looked too much into it but we're gonna see if you need a little update on what's going on basically uh we are two days away from a global launch of a device that will allow humans to learn things instantly control robots kind of like a neuromod from prey kind of like you know installing a chip in the matrix kind of thing and uh two days before seems to be like uh things are going bad and the robots are fighting back and you know there's some t some type of virus or something is going on where uh they're not responding and now maybe we're in total war it seems like we're about to find out in today's episode and have some fun and really learn uh what this game is all about so thank you guys very much for tuning in make sure you like the video we're gonna hang out and chat see what's up what's going on with you guys what's up poke what's up ledge what's up mo i'm excited for you guys to uh be here let's have some fun let's Let's see, man. Hub the graphics are nice. The civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. Okay. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. Breakable environments. You know one thing I didn't actually check. Please, please, please. Tell me you have FOV. Tell me you have FOV. No, it definitely doesn't. Oh man, I've been so spoiled because every game I play that has FOV, I crank that shit to 120. Every time. Every single time. What's up, Ledge? How are you? How you liking the game so far? Like I just said in the intro, I haven't even done any of the gameplay. The story is interesting. Hey look, remember we saw a pig on a leash in the first episode? Oh my god! I'm sorry! I didn't know I could actually hurt you, and now I have to kill you because I don't want you to suffer. Can I skin you? It's actually quite responsive. Damn! How about you, chicken? Come here. Damn! Okay. Breakable environments? No. I'm really, really, really excited to see, like, how... Oh, here we go. Do I have anything other than this? Ooh, sound effects are nice. And these robots look scary. Like, the fact that they don't blink and they have, like, this very... Just muted facial expressions. Just, like, look, look how creepy they look. I have a quick dodge. Ooh, I kind of like that. What's this? Tab? Okay, so this is my weapon slot. It says damage, attack speed, range, charge damage, charge speed. Okay, so we have quite a quite a few things. All right, pig. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I kind of killed your friend back there. So I'll let you live. This was the thing that carried our car. So I'm I'm a I'm a huge sci-fi fan. Holy shit! What the? Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Whoa. Somebody help you. Hey you, I'm coming. You alive in there? Jump scare? Oh shit! Shit! Uh, get away from me! Dude, has he been stuffing stuffing bodies down there? What? Damn. 
yourself. Come on, the glove doesn't have superpowers, super strength. Oh, hey, that's from the thumbnail. Yo, J Guy Gorilla, welcome to the stream, baby. What are Hello. you talking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Hmm. Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Hmm. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Yeah, Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could so really how are you weapon. alive? You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a, a chilla! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Was like a radar? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. Oh, uh, that means move, Get not stare at the kid. sky. Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, what lady. What the? What are you planning? Who is Here she? I've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. And I'm just watching. Dame, too many cinematics. Let me fucking play, man. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Dude. Who is she? Uh. Holy shit! We're still falling. Start of this game is pretty wild. What a goddamn clusterfuck. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't blame him. After everything he's gone through, lighting a cigarette... Listen, I've never smoked a cigarette, but... If I was in that moment with him, I might just fucking light one up too. Fuck it. Vault or climb an object, press spacebar. Shut your Genius mouth, thing. bitch! Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here Small as a prisoner. Small neuromod they couldn't find anyone else capsule. in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. <clears throat> Locate the door handle. Okay, so there is like some minute loot. Whoa. Chirper found. She almost got this away. Is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, <sighs> who's there? They found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me. 
of me, you monster! No, listen to me! Interesting. Welcome to the Vavilov Complex, named after the great Soviet botanist. The Vavilov Complex is a leading scientific institution dedicated to the study of the Earth. So, just a heads up, if you couldn't already tell, it seems like this game is pretty deep. There's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of, um, you know, clearly we're going to start picking up, like, little audio things and audio files and recordings and stuff like that. So there's, this is a, this is the game where we're going to have to stop, slow down, make sure we're understanding everything. I don't want to get lost in, in the gameplay and, and lose this plot because this game seems to be pretty deep. So far, which I'm enjoying. I'm, I love sci-fi and robot apocalypse. I mean, does it get better than that? Oh no, you're dead. You're dead. Hey Mo, by the way, I know that you just said in chat that you uh, you wanted to buy it, but you want to get the Destiny 2. By the way, for everyone who's listening, I actually got this on Game Pass. This game just came out, so if you're on PlayStation uh, or you're getting it on Steam, you're paying 60 bucks. But this game came out on Game Pass, and it's the only reason why we we're playing it today, because, you know, we just dropped 70 on Hogwarts, so it didn't really make sense, but... That's why Game Pass is revolutionary, and I can't wait for PlayStation to do a similar thing. And I know Nintendo just announced that they're taking on Call of Duty, so gaming is moving in the right direction. Seems like everyone wants to start working together as a team, so, you know, the future's bright. Safe areas. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save game machine. Okay. Whoa. Synthetic material, shotgun shells, metal parts. Okay. And the machines rose for Forewarned is forearmed. What? Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press left shift to dodge. May I give you some advice? I'm kind yeah, of busy could right I have now. a gun? Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during the power Got surge are especially dangerous. And what did I just do? Down. Oh, I just healed myself. Oh, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. If there are a lot of crates in front of you, hold F in their direction and move from one to another without releasing F. This will allow you to collect all the resources from the crates in one go. Ooh, quick loot. I love it. You can just hold it and just fucking go nuts. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. I'm not going to really know what I looted because I'm just going crazy, but whatever. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. Mm. It utilizes just all a metal parts. similarity to shrink items placed within it then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Okay, one thing I will say is just a small critique. Is there's a lot going on to start this game. Like, a lot of talking, a lot of cinematics, a lot of explanations. Like, ease me into it a little bit. Order. Date June 3rd, 1955. From Facility 326, Deputy Director M. Stockhausen. To Valvalov management order from Comrade blah blah blah. All employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. Hmm. We also have a new chirper. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through! And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Is that Zena. the woman that was upstairs, the old lady? <laughs> Ow, damn! Here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. I think that he's right in the 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, a 2v1's not fair. I, I'm, I feel like I'm timing it, but I guess I'm not. Alright, let's try it again. There we go. Attack me hard. Come on. Give me your best shot. Mama, mama, mama. Give me the, the super attack, man. I'm trying to learn. You want me to egg you on, don't you? Yeah, a lot of these mechanics are kind of dope. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh my god! What was I supposed to do? I pressed E! Oh my god, man. No, keyboard and mouse, guys. It's been a while. Bitch. Bitch. Dude, they got fucked up before they even had a chance. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I mention the game Prey, you need to stop what you're doing with your life and either go play it or hey, watch somebody's gameplay. Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay. Imagine how brutal this would be if we didn't have quick loot. I'd be here for a thousand years. Wait, what's that? Last night, lab assistants, uh, Skopnistev and Lepyoshkin taped a photograph of Comrade Sheshnov to a vulva and allowed it to wander on the halls in this state. Janitor passed out when this vulva lock looked at her through a window, gave them an official reprimand. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Charles. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? Mm. So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will mm. be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Rotate. Action. What am I supposed to do? It says rotate and left mouse button, which is what I'm doing. Maybe this is something I still have to learn? Or... Okay, interesting. Interesting. Alright, let's listen to this one. No, what? I didn't want to stop playing it. Oh, because it's another one. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. Oh, on shit! Our the door to oh, my God. Our but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Oh, my God. Dude, I messed up your but face, though. Oh, there we go. Ivan. Finally got the dodge. Ivan. Dude. There's too many of these things. 
I can't listen to all these chirpers, there's just no way. Because every time I go to listen to it, either I get interrupted by the glove, or... Or... That sound. humanity at its absolute worst. I speak not only of our errant and misguided neighbors to the west, or the ravages of capitalism, but also of our own fellow citizens. But I knew all along, as soon as we unite people into a single collective, they will understand. Hmm. Damn, this Bioshock remaster. You know what's funny? I've never played Bioshock before in my life. I know what it is. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That in oh, Something's wrong. Oh shit! They're timing the dialogue weird. What the fuck am I looking at? What is this, the Matrix? I was gonna say, they're timing the dialogue weird. Usually they- they give you these dialogue cues in games during a time where you can still loo and listen and not get constantly interrupted. That's like the third time. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. Who are they? What the? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. So What's this doing here? What took you so long? What you got a neural polymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. What? Get out! Larissa! Oh my god, that's like a, a super villain. The super robot. What the f bro, these mustaches. Oh, that's from the thumbnail. Holy shit. Avoid There's the a gun. What the f first boss fight? Dude, that was a gun. I want that gun. Hey man, this is not fair. I don't have a gun. Oh, but I got you from the back, bitch. I got you from the back, bitch. Damn, you're getting the works right now. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Can't go back. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see something? What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm uh, unable to assist you. That looks like I a bomb. Lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. I'm like trying to follow the light. Okay, cool. It worked. <laughs> it's not that the dialogue is I don't know if I use the word weird. It's just A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Oh, shit. I'm scared. I'm really scared. 
Okay, so this is our quick save. What the fuck? What fuck the? Me. Oh, what a stun! I take a jumps. Let me try you to the bed, baby. What? No need to fight back, sugar. Baby, I don't think I'm gonna don't like this. Your arms. What do you Can't mean don't let her bind my arms, dude? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant. How titillating. Turn me on. Oh, Whoa. Turn you on, all right, just let me at you. The robots are horny? Interesting. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. What am I playing right now? What? Yo, Bradley, welcome to the stream. Hello. What's up, Marshy? Welcome to the stream. Migs, it just doesn't give you time to process what's being said is all. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I, I thought, I think I said something around those lines, but yeah. It's like, it's just, all, it's just a lot at once. 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Your glove can produce an electromagnetic discharge that targets enemies and deals electric damage. Robotic targets are especially vulnerable to electricity. So this is our skill tree then. Requires zero neuropolymer. Okay, we have 26 of them. I think my camera's hiding it, but it says in the top right corner. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Okay. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally, crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, <laughs> my you pocket rocket. Whatever tickles your fancy. Weapon okay, so this is a horny game. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll Round. service you however you want. Damn, Add bitch. A massive sword, thrust uh, it deep into uh, I can do so I, much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Wow. Okay. So, our... Our fucking machine here that helps, helps us get our new loot and shit gives us a three minute horny dialogue sequence at the same time that I'm being introduced for the first time how to upgrade my equipment and then my fucking robot hand starts to talk too so it's it's like we just said like it's just everything's overlapping like can I just try and understand this for two seconds she's trying to fuck me and I don't even know how to play the game yet KS23 I want you. How do I buy you? Tab switch to skills. Okay, so... Requires 61. Oh, wow. Okay. Your glove can hit targets and services with a jet of cryoplimer. Affected enemies are frozen and cannot move. Organic enemies are especially vulnerable to low temperatures. Okay. Telekinesis. That's too expensive. This is 20. Your glove can spray targets and surfaces with a jet of combat polymer. 
Once applied, Combat Polymer can be set on fire, electrified, or frozen, dealing damage of the corresponding type to affected enemies. There's a shield. Surround you with a Neuropolymer shield that protects you from melee. Energy magnet. Adds another power cell to recirculation chamber. Okay, let's do this one first. And let's save. Install, please. Skill in use. Okay, so I have two skill slots. Okay, I think I'm understanding a little bit here. Hold on, before we do that. Frostbite. Freeze your enemies to slow them down for a while. Remember, a frozen enemy only takes a portion of the damage from your attacks and thaws out more quickly with each hit it takes. Okay, so you're undoing the freeze when you attack them. Okay, hold on. How do I... Okay, so switch to crafting. Already owned. Okay, so I bought it. Recipe required for Electra. Okay, so we need more looting. This... I don't know how I can upgrade it. Okay, it says I have five attachments at the top. I have a handle and aiming devices. Barrel, cartridge, gun, and magazine are empty. Storage, disassembly. Okay, so this is what I have right now. Consumables, so I can... So this is health. And these are the resources I need to craft it, I guess. Ammo, same thing, I can craft, okay. Cartridge guns. Alright, interesting. How do I switch weapons? Scroll wheel, I love it. Saving data. Oh, this is the save thing. Okay, okay, so these are two different. This is crafting, weapons. I really want to try out this shotgun. Okay, can I listen to this and move to the next room or no? Black bodies, Nikolai. Regular BOBA sixes follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. Hmm. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out of me. Okay, so someone was already starting to feel like the the black robots, the one that we just fought out, looked like a boss. Out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They have no We're power. already wigging out. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside. Uh, supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you? Charles. Unfortunately not, but I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> okay. I don't understand his whole laughing tone, but that's okay. By the way, Alicia, Nate, and Mariana, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, guys. Welcome to the Pioneers, baby. And to uh, everyone watching the stream lurking in the background, I appreciate the love, man. Thank you, guys. You have no idea how much it means to me. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. This facility is equipped with security cameras on spotting the player. They raise a level one alarm and summon all ni nearby robots. If the player is seen fighting the robots, the alarm is escalated to level 2, which means calling in reinforcements. You can distract a CCTV camera by throwing an object elsewhere or temporarily disabled by using shock. Okay, so we don't want the alarm to go off. Ever. But I don't know how to use... Like, that little upgrade thing that we just unlocked? I don't know how to use that yet. Pick up an atom, hold F, then release it, throw it. Oh shit, what the fuck? I just shot- What the shit? What- 
What? What do you mean? I just... I just shot you with a shotgun. Come on, Major. What the? What is happening? Dude, I just got hit, like, twice. Uh... And the shotgun did nothing to him. Oh, this is the thing. You said you knew how to avoid the camera. I expected more subtlety from a Oh, I shouldn't shoot it. Sometimes you just need to go in guns Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let them kill me. I'm gonna let them kill me. Kill me, kill me. I have to learn. Okay, so I have to... I can't shoot it. I can use my shock. And I can throw stuff at it. Yo, Blue Bloods, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for stopping by and saying hello. Appreciate the love. Okay. I still don't know how to use my... My new... Hand ability, though. I'll we'll have to figure that out. So what can I pick up here? Oh, I can pick up just about anything. Throw it and then hold release. Come away, Major. You said you knew how to avoid the camera. What do you I mean? I thought I threw something at it. Yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. Oh, this I lost it through the door. Times. It was stuck. No, 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 please don't come over here. Okay, I want to. I want to try and learn how to do this. I don't want to waste my ammo. That sucks. Okay, but what could I have thrown in here? Everything is massive. Can I throw this bucket? It's going off again? How do I throw this thing? V? Okay, okay, okay. I have no idea. We'll have to hope that we learn by the next time we have to do it. R is reload, thank god. Uh, I was already in this room. Oh, just kidding. Find the key. Is it just in this room in general? Aha! You found the key. Beautiful. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. What's that sound? No, not again. I'm gonna shoot it, cause or else they just keep coming. I'm on my toes, I'm on my toes. Okay, so I can't go through that way, so I have to go back around. Oh wait, what was so that? So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes mm. the Central Hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists wow. really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. What a smart way to hack the system. It looks so real, Blue Bloods. This game looks incredible. That I, that I'll give. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying it. I am hey, enjoying it. The overuse of dialogue yeah, is kind of fucking me still, like but cookies, right? I'm having fun. Charles? Yes. Do you like cookies? Uh -huh. Whoa. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. 
You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. The decoder. Comrade Try to match Vish the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Whoa. Okay. Regarding your question about functionality of the beam decoder, this bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you correctly remarked, any child could operate it. But while this child of yours is entering combinations, a signal sent to the security panel and the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions. Whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also due to software limitations, robots cannot control the beam decoder, which reduces the chances of an error in the event of a robot malfunction. Does that answer your question? Okay. Game, what would you like me to do here? Power up the elevator. You know, I would love to do that if I knew how. No, 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 no. I don't mean to do that. Unlock the passive security relay functionality by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Okay, so we have a little... We have a little mini puzzle here. How do I affect you, though? Did I just do it? Okay, so all of those lights need to be... White, I'm assuming? Okay, to be honest, I'm not really sure about what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep tapping things until I start to understand what the fuck I'm doing. Where's the tutorial again? What's the difference between this one and that one? I don't see anything different. They look exactly the same. But something changed. Who else is confused? I can't even tell what I'm doing. They're just rotating but shooting... Okay, hold on. Okay, so this one's shooting the white beam. And I need that in the middle? Is that what you're saying? So if that's the case, then that needs to be like that. You're getting a white beam in the middle though. It's not changing anything. What? Yo, anybody not confused? Yeah, the power's on. Let's head yeah, back. Yeah, I did it. Super easy, first try. Okay. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Hello? That option wasn't there a second ago. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Use shock V on enemies to stop them in their tracks or even kill them. Okay, so that's what we just did. 
Let's try it. What do you mean? I don't have it? Did I just use it? Is that on a cooldown? Oh, it was. Okay, so it has a pretty long cooldown. Interesting. I really shouldn't be using this as much. Okay, so before the next time we play this, I really should switch my dodge to my right mouse button. I'd like that way better. Okay, we already know no what that is. Forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Can I hop in one of these? Just kidding. Ow. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Ow! Like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. What the? Works for Bro, what? What? Is I don't even understand what I'm inside of right now. I I don't even understand what that was. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. Yo, you guys like to talk shit back and forth There's quite a bit, huh? Panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? Oh my this god, one. baby. A combination lock. Oh, that uh, looks so good. Are you combo. kidding? Maybe someone has the code. The schematic. Mm. Need to find mm. the schematic. Oh, babe, this is homey as fuck. Uh, what was that? Mm. Delicious, baby. Station mm. master. Thank you. Oh, that's hot. What the hell is this? Huh? I missed the part where he was explaining it. Huh? Station master. Yo, uh, you mind if I, uh, if you tell me again how to do this? Was anybody listening in the chat? The Yo, what's up, Duckworth? What's up, Boney? Welcome to the stream, baby. Guys, what am I doing? I don't know what to do. Huh? Need to find the schematic. Something's got to move. Anything. Guys, what am I supposed to do? I need help. I missed it, man. I'm gonna be here for ten for a thousand years. Look around? Let me look around. You're telling me there's a code somewhere. Is that what you're telling me? Station master. What a joke. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why are they frozen just huh? like everything here? They won't go. 
So he's just bugging you out? have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Whoa, that's fucked up. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. He wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. The world's first autonomous aerial urban base. This enormous flying platform. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. Station master. Find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I've fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's that's a mind blowing. of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. That's mind blowing. Actually, mind blowing. Why are you telling me to go back now? What? I'm so confused. Oh, babe, I don't mean to blame you, but right when you came, there was a very important thing explained, and now I am absolutely lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm clicking random buttons. Oof! I don't know what to do! I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. Yo, Atlas, the devs said they might make a 6 or 12 hour scene. What do you mean? A 6 or 12 hour scene? What do you mean? <laughs> Are you asking if Ledge is a person? I actually saw Ledge. Flesh and blood. Uh, about an hour ago. Okay, guys. I'm very confused. I might have to go back and watch the video and see, um... What I'm supposed to do here. But, I'm very intrigued by this game so far. Very intrigued. We might do a full series on this. If it gets, uh... If we can get another 20 likes on it, I think we'll do it. So, uh, if you're watching the video and you haven't liked it yet, please make sure you hit that like button. Thank you guys for stopping by. I, I kind of want to play more, but I'm a little confused and I got my dinner here. So we just banged out a nice 50 minute episode. So hope you guys enjoyed, man. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate the love as always. Have a wonderful rest of your night, morning, afternoon. Walking Dead episode is dropping tomorrow. Batman episode for members exclusive is dropping on Saturday. And tomorrow we are doing our finale of Hogwarts Legacy live. Okay. We'll stream probably around noontime, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you very much for the love. I appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the new chatters, man. I hope to see you guys in another video. See you soon. Adios.